This is what happens when sulfur and zinc react directly. The reaction is extremely energetic and produces a characteristic bluish-white flame along with the product zinc sulfide. Conducting this reaction is really similar to thermite, and all you have to do is combine stoichiometric equivalences of sulfur and zinc metal. When catalyzed by exposure to high heat, these two react aggressively like you saw at the beginning of the video forming zinc sulfide. I think this is a really good example of a synthesis reaction, which is one of the core types of chemical reactions. This process can actually be used to make a variety of metal sulfides, but zinc sulfide has a very unique property that I'll show you in a second. Sorry, I didn't want to try to talk over that, but the unique property that zinc sulfide has is that it exhibits strong phosphorescence under UV light. Notice here that the phosphorescent material is actually a few different unique colors, including yellow, orange, and teal. This is due to metal impurities that were present on the block here and changed the color of the phosphorescence. Another unique property is that zinc sulfide will continue to glow after the UV source has been removed, which you can kind of see here. I actually intended to do a much longer video on this, but the process ended up being a lot more sensitive than I thought it would be, so I'm shelving it for now. Anyway, thanks to my patrons as always, and if you'd like to see more content like this, consider giving me a follow.